what some may see as an ugly mess of lines Could be so much more if we open our minds Join me on my journey if you have a big heart Come on, let's go, it's the art of the chart Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to uh, Art of the Chart. It's the only segment where we take you know, these, these confusing looking charts and we try and find the beauty that's hiding within them. You don't have to be a technical analyst to do some technical analysis. So uh, I'm Zachy Hennessy, and uh, come join me and we'll, and we'll take a look at what we're, what we're looking at today. So I found this cryptocurrency, it's called Cloakcoin, uh, founded on CryptoWatch, and uh, it turns out that these guys have found the true global transaction uh, freedom, which is something that I believe is unique to them, and, and they're the only ones who have, who have done it, so I'm very impressed with them. Um, I don't really know anything about the coin. I don't really care about it. Uh, but what I do care about is the wonderful chart that I found uh, from them on CryptoWatch. And this is from September 7th, must have been, yeah, 2018, and all the way till July 22nd, uh, 2019. And uh, after that, there's been no development in their charts. So maybe they're defunct. Who can say? Um, anyways, so the first thing you always want to do when you're, when you're doing one of these charts is to, uh, to give it a good old-fashioned trace. And so I've done that ahead of time here, so we can go ahead and just get started. And remember that as uh, you know, I'm analyzing here and as we're, we're trying to figure out what's going on here in this, uh, in this wacky and crazy world that we call technical analysis, uh, you can paint along with me. And if you, uh, you have some technical analysis of your own, then uh, feel free to, uh, to share it. Uh, at Block TV News and uh, you know at my Twitter handle the Sonic Wombat. So uh, I already have a great idea I think for this one, and it's something that's uh, very near and dear to my heart, which is uh, the good old fashioned uh, tapus, uh, the octopus to be more specific. And I think we're gonna kind of try and embody that today in this chart because you know it's got this kind of like arch here on the left side. And that kind of gave me a, a cool idea. Um, initially, I saw this chart and I said, you know what, this seems like a reptilian kind of vibe. But you know, in the recent uh, few episodes, you know, I've done my fair share of reptiles. So <clears throat> I decided that I'd take a little break from that one, two, three, four, five, six, and, uh, and just kind of move forward with that. Um, now I've seen some folks have been doing similar things as I, with their, uh, you know, they're taking these charts and they're and they're making their own analyses and and yada yada. But listen, nobody does. Oh shit, that's a really big eraser. Nobody does it like your boy Zachy does it. So anytime you see, you know, just remember, stay loyal to your boy. It's called brand loyalty, and it'll get you far in the in today's corporate climate. Okay. So, anyways, that's kind of our initial outline. And uh, what I want to do next is kind of move on to the color. And, and last, I want to tackle the face. Uh, Charles Schultz, the creator of the Peanuts. Uh, this is still an eraser. That's why it's not drawing. Duh. <laughs> Anyways, Charles Schultz, the creator of the Peanuts. He was like, yo, I like to draw these comics, right? And everybody was like, yeah, you're really good at it. And then he was like, they were like, what, what's the secret to like you doing your faces? Because we always like it, like the faces. They're all so unique and, and they have so much emotion. And he, uh, he said, well, listen, you can draw, and this is paraphrasing, of course. But he said, you can draw everything and, and detail it and change it around as much as you want. But when it comes to the friggin' face, you do that shit once and, and, and call it a day. And that's when it's going to get the rawest amount of emotion is on the first blush, you know, the first try. So I think we're going to kind of try to embody some of that in our, uh, when we do our art here today, because we're saving the face for last, and we're going to try and give it as much emotion as, uh, as we can. But uh, anyway, yeah, octopuses, octopi, <laughs> are pretty cool. I'm a big fan, never eaten one, but I don't know if I can say that I don't want to try. And that's uh, you know a little bit uh, a little wacky coming from me. I'm a vegetarian, but at the same time, like, shit, man, I'll be dead eventually. Like, you know, kind of want to have uh, eaten some wacky, wacky, crazy stuff uh, by then. But we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, before we do our face, 
what I want to do is make sure that we get some good contouring. Because just because, listen, it's a sketchy art style, but that doesn't mean we can't have a little bit of pride in our in our depth, give it a little dimension. Okay, that looks terrible. I don't like this line specifically. Fuck that one in particular. Uh, yeah, and uh, I've been doing these technical analyses for for a while now, and I gotta say, the world of technical analysis, it's tough, man. People don't always ag ag agree with your with your analysis. Kind of give them a little butt cheek situation, kind of <laughs> kind of there on his legs. That's kind of nice. Anyways, uh, I think that we are ready. I'm not gonna give. Listen, you could give him suction cups. Am I gonna give him suction cups? No, I think that's a little explicit. Okay, and uh, even though we're on the, the good old internet, I don't think the world's ready to see that, that kind of stuff. Now, I realize that we are faced with the biggest decision in the whole goddamn world. The question is, am I gonna put the face down here and I'm gonna do a sketch, this doesn't count as the face. Am I gonna give him one of these and give him like a five head situation? Or am I gonna give him like one of these and give him like the world's biggest chin? Or, Am I going to give him like, you know, one of these and give him like kind of like a uh, and I don't know. Frankly, I'm scared and I'm, I'm glad that you're with me here today because I don't know how I'm going to tackle this. So I'm just going to kind of grin him and go for it. I think that what we're going to do is something like like this. Here we go. Bam. No racing. No moving anything around. OK, he's already kind of got like a little bit of lopsided eye syndrome. That's fine. And then we're gonna kind of give him like a, he's like a little, he's smiling, right? But he's unsure of himself, right? He's got, he's, he's got self-confidence issues. Uh, so that's kind of like his character. Um, and that's kind of like a good first, like I said, you know, uh, as Charles Schultz was paraphrased earlier in this episode, you gotta get it on first blush. So I think I'm gonna give him a little bit of a blush because he's really nervous. He's like, oh, I'm on Art of the Chart. I, it's very, it's a very great uh, program. I'm so excited to be a part of it. And I think I'm going to give him like some of, some of these babies. Oh, he's so, he's so embarrassed. Ooh, ooh, he's so nervous. Okay. And then to finish it off, listen, you go around, you draw a bunch of things like I've done here. And, you know, it's like, okay, great. You can draw a friggin' cat that looks like a melting, uh, you know, piece of taffy. But, you know, what I haven't shown off yet is my ability to draw props, you know. And just like a good comedian knows how to use a good prop, your boy Zacky knows how to make a good friggin', uh, what, do you, what, what do you call this? A good friggin' uh, draw a good prop, you know. So that's what we're gonna do right now, and it's gonna blow your goddamn mind. Here we go. I hope you're prepared. What are you drawing, Zachy? Oh, all shall be revealed, pal. Don't don't you worry. Here we go. So there's that. Check this schnikes out. I, now I've been swearing a lot this episode, and you know I'm embarrassed to say it, but it feels good. You know, it's a little bit of catharsis. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, oh, the beauty of it. And we're staying with the same color palette, okay? Because I'm not a freaking cretin. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. We're going to go like something like this, something like that. Are you ready? Here we go. I hope you're ready because I'm not. Boop. There you go. It's a lollipop. I'm going to give it an outline, actually, because it looks kind of shitty. Wow, it's awful. I hate it already. It's immediately the worst thing I've ever drawn. That's beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. I love him. What can I say? You know, I can't say I wasn't hunting for the applause. Uh, anyway, so the last thing that we always do with these things is we give them a name. And since he's kind of got this kind of, he's got a very distinct character about him, yeah? So I think he's a little bashful, but he likes, he's got a sweet tooth. Uh, so we're gonna call him. Uh, you know what? We're we're gonna call him uh, Pumpkin. Pumpkin. 
because he's sweet like a pumpkin, but he's also embarrassed because he's a sweet little pumpkin. <laughs> cool. So uh, now we're going to sign it. Give it a little JH, a little John Han Hannycock. And uh, what do you know? There you have it, man. I tell you, these technical analyses, they're so much easier than you think. You got Joe Saz out here. He's making these uh, friggin' uh, uh, Bitcoin go to one. Man, who gives a crap about Bitcoin? I just found an octopus in an altcoin chart. So how about you, you know, step up your game, Joe. And yeah, this is going in the tweet. And yeah, I'm tagging you in the tweet. All right, Joe, until I see you, you know, saying, oh, we got a Bart Simpson theory. Well, until I see the Bart Simpson in the goddamn chart, you ain't done shit, Joe. Love you, Joe, fan of your work. Anyways, this has been Art of the Chart. Thanks so much for joining me. And, uh, you know, remember, do your own stuff. Get that out there. Find your analyses and tweet it to me, please, because I'm very lonely on Twitter and I, and I need validation. Bye. Mm -hmm.